Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> so this is my first video back on YouTube. It has been a year. Um, I'm happy to be back. So let's go ahead and get started on this video. So if you follow me on social media, you know that I have been doing the keto diet for about three weeks now, like consistently. And just this morning, I woke up and I weighed myself, which I've never had a scale at home. And I'm 10 pounds lighter. So in just three weeks. And I'm not working out because I can't right now. By the way, if you hear noises and I'm talking really loud, it's because I have the AC going. I have my puppy, Cleo, who I post a lot about on my social media. She's somewhere making a mess over there, so apologies for all the noise. Um, but basically, um, you know, I found out about keto through through a bunch of people and I've seen it work for them on social media um, and weight loss has been something that I've dealt with my entire life like since I can remember I've always been trying a new diet to lose weight to look good um, so it's just something that I've struggled with I love food um, I think for me my problem was that I didn't know when to stop like growing up um, food like you could just have it it was always available to me there was you know nobody my parents never told me like no you can't have that it was like no if we have it by all means you know and so I definitely grew up chubby I didn't grow up healthy and it wasn't until I was in my teen years that I just woke up one day and I was just done with being chubby you know I wanted to look good I wanted to start dating and so I did I started hitting the gym and I started eating healthy um, and I lost 40 pounds on my own just by doing that so that was about when I was like anywhere between 13 to 15 years old um, so let me tell you that when the keto diet has worked for me um, it really has. It's not, I have come to find out in just these short three weeks that it's not just a diet for me, but rather I'm turning it into a lifestyle. Uh, you, what it is, is um, I have it pulled up here, just like a little brief summary, because I'm not pro, I'm not like a keto, like, scientist or anything, like, it's just me, and I've I'm doing what I've, you know, what I think is best for me just based on Google search and things I see online. So basically, you are not eating carbs. You lower your intake of carbs. Um, you can have about, like maximum, you can have about 24 carbs a day. Um, but I try to, I really have tried to stay away from carbs at all cost. Um, certain things will have like five grams of carbs, other things will have seven grams of carbs, and that's my total, my limit for the day. Um, and then I'm just eating a lot of protein and a lot of fat. And what does that mean? So I get a lot of my protein from meats, whether it be fish, beef, chicken, um, my fats from nuts, seeds, avocados, um, cheese. So you're eating a lot of cheese, a lot of avocado in this diet. Um, you're not eating any breads, any rice. Um, so what I have found though is that there are so many good healthy substitutes for it. Um, but before I get into that, let me continue finishing this that basically um, because you're lowering your carb intake, your body begins to look for an alternative energy uh, source to burn from your body. So that's when your body goes into ketosis and it starts burning the fat that you have um, because that's the only source of energy you're using right now. And so your body's burning that fat. Um, but you know, basically, um, you know, it wasn't really that hard for me to start eating keto, um, just by doing research. What helped me is I got this book. 
Um, other things that I have found. So in the morning is like for breakfast, you can have eggs, uh, bacon, and avocado. Like who doesn't want to eat those things in the morning? And honestly, it fills me up. Uh, but if you don't have the time to make those uh, things in the morning, like say you're running out the door for work, which I totally get, is something that, it, that also works for me is this Atkins um it's a mocha latte protein drink it has 15 grams of protein one gram of sugar and three grams of carbs so what i do with this is i pour it in a cup all of it i pour all of it in a cup and so i buy like those big um plastic starbucks cups that comes with the lid and the straw so i pour it in there and i usually have some room still and I just get that's my dog I just get the Starbucks iced coffee drink from the store and it's just one gram of carbs and zero everything else so you're having your morning coffee and because it has all this protein it really fills you up so I'm good like say if I have it at 8 8 30 a.m. I really won't want anything because I'm also drinking a lot of water until I'll have a snack around 11 if anything but usually it'll hold me till lunch but that's just me another thing that's really quick and easy to make in the mornings um, and it's very keto friendly um, what you can do is you go to Target you go to the store and you buy coconut milk and it looks just like this um, so you pour it in like a container you pour like a little bit of chia seeds I would say do a cup of coconut milk and then just pour chia seeds in there just to the point where it's not where it's filled up enough where it's not too milky and it's not going to be too condensed and then you can add blueberries inside just to top it uh, but the blueberries um, I would do last because you can leave the coconut milk and the chia seeds in a container overnight and in the morning you can put your blueberries you can put strawberries you can put um, walnuts those are all keto friendly uh, dishes so that's something that works really well another thing that I just discovered and I'm really excited about I love pizza <sighs> like I can eat pizza like once a week like for sure um, I love all kinds of it I love it so much so when I found out about this brand called real good um, and so the brand on Instagram is real good foods I discovered that they have frozen pizzas and you literally can pop it in your toaster oven you can pop it in the microwave and it has 25 grams of protein and only four grams of carbs so if this is the only carb take you're having throughout the day and it's good and this is fast so I like this because this is another thing you can just throw in your lunch bag and put it in the microwave at work you know so there's really no excuses for you not to be eating keto uh, it's just about wanting it doing the work the research like I can tell you you know what foods I'm eating but the, you may not like all of these things so I definitely suggest you go and you do some research um, I will continue to do a little like update videos and track my process of my weight loss maybe eventually I'll share with you what my starting weight was and what you know my current weight is and my goal so right now like I said in just three weeks I've lost 10 pounds and I'm not working out right I'm not working out right now um, just because um, for medical health reasons um, but once I do, once I'm able to start working out, I'll definitely include it. Um, not a lot because that's just not who I am. I'm definitely a clean eater. And let me tell you some of the pros that I've definitely experienced with keto. I 
I've had more energy. I just, I feel good. Um, I'm taking some medication right now prescribed by my doctor and so that medication can give you a lot of crazy side effects and even though I have been getting some of those side effects just by eating keto I can tell that my body likes it it feels good so I definitely recommend you try it and I hope that you have learned something from this vlog and let me know what kind of other videos I can make. I'm definitely thinking of showing you guys how I cook the food and how easy it is. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and share it with your friends.